Hello, everybody. <clears throat> uh, we are continuing Road Rash 64. That was a very jarring audio transition. Yes, it was. <laughs> I uh, hope everybody's having a great start to the week. Back to the work. <laughs> Any back to workers in chat? Get the tub. You go and get the tub. Bet if you guys misbehave, you're gonna get the tub. Wee! Oh god. Nunchucks! How's that even work? God! <laughs> I mean, it's an enjoyable game. It's been pretty repetitive, but... The gameplay loop is... Pretty fun, I like it. What the heck is this hitbox? You wish you could gift your prime, so you should just use it anyway. Then I get money. Pretty cold. It's currently 13 degrees. Why are you in the road? by a cop uh tommy the cat thank you for the two month reset with prime gaming and johnny thank you for getting us into prime sub i appreciate it 
Yeah, their product is good. <laughs> Chat. I saw something t yesterday that made me extremely sad. So I've been regularly checking for games that you can play on stream, like they're looking for people to play them. And I saw a game that looked really cool, and it was, I forget what it was called, but it was essentially simulating LimeWire back in the early 2000s, so you had to pirate certain music and if you got a virus you would lose lives and then all this. I was like, that sounds so fun. Like, it'd be a nostalgia trip. Then I was reading into it and they're launching a LimeWire crypto token alongside the game. And I was just like, why? Why? <laughs> that seems like such a fun game though, doesn't it? Like, probably maybe for an hour, but... It would be a good trip down memory lane. It's not an mp3, it's an mp3.exe. Well, I, I switched from LimeWire to FrostWire, I don't remember why. I think LimeWire became too bloated with viruses. Frostwire was like a cleaner program or something. Sorry if there's nothing going your way. Sorry if there's nothing going your way. Sorry if there's nothing going your way. I mean, those programs were torrenting services. They just didn't have torrent in their name, like, like uTorrent. I don't know what people are using these days. Like, LimeWire was still a peer to peer file share system. Right on the ground. What the Move. heck? <clears throat> you still use uTorrent? Because it's efficient and easily lets you share large files with your friends that you own, right, Pork? I mean, to be fair, it is very good for that purpose. If you're trying to send somebody a gigantic file, sending it as a torrent is very efficient. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Do 
You were a cedar? I always wondered who those people were. <laughs> Never seeded a file in my entire existence. God, I just got wrecked. Literally. You're gonna get the tub. I used MIRC. Um, a lot of us on. Oh my god. A lot of us on Score Hero hung out on IRC. I remember when I went to university, the school's internet blocked you from connecting to IRC servers. The only way I could connect was using Mibit on the web browser and it's horrible. First place gaming! <laughs> uh, physics, thank you for one dollar. Uh, Johnny, thank you for the 29 month resub. Meat machine! Meat machine! Meat machine, meat machine. See, this is why I left Thrashers. Like, everybody's in the other game. 
Oh my god, I just did a tornado. ramp there. Anonymous Gifter, thank you for gifting a sub to Ant Lee. Oh, I appreciate it. I did see the Mario movie, yes. Oh my god. It kicked me into a truck. Oh my god! thousand bucks <laughs> next bike 60k I'm not even close Like the the core gameplay loop of this or whatever, it's fun. It's just I don't know, it's it's repetitive. It's a game you play for half an hour and then put it off for a while.
Yeah, maybe like an arena mode or something where you're just free for all. Oh, oh my god. Come on. Uh, the Porsche file. Thank you for gifting a sub to XD. Oh, I appreciate it. Get the tub. Yeah, you're going to get the tub. Going to get the tub. Going to get the tub. Wait a minute, 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 gonna get the top. Oh, okay then. <clears throat> yeah, that did suck. We'll beat that level tonight though. Oh, he kicked me. It's the end. Come on. Seventh. <laughs> 200 bucks and a warm can of soda. Uh, dead bod, thank you for the prime gaming sub. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah. Whoa! Whoa, what <laughs> the heck? Instant respawn. Well, it is warm, but it's also already been opened. You're enjoying it, Dad Bod. Meet machine. Meet machine. Just crash so I can get out of this area.
Yeah, it's pretty cool. People, uh... I'm getting a lot of people commenting on, like, Flying Dragon. It's like... They hadn't even thought about that game since they were a little kid. So it's cool. It's like, wow. That brought back a lot of memories for some people. Don't you dare mess with my main machine. It's cool, it's slick, it's solid. He pushed me. I wanted the times four. I hit Black Jack. <laughs> Not to be confused with Jack Black. God, he just... Oh! <laughs> he just ate it so hard. Man, look at the guy catching up to me. Like, that's the rubber banding. It's so annoying. Yeah, it lets me catch up too, it's just, I don't know. Alright, we got first. <laughs> first place, no way! Oh shoot. Uh, Gobs, thank you for the 18 month resub. Appreciate it. Uh, also, what about me? Six eight. Nope. <clears throat> Don't you dare mess with my main machine. It's cool. It's slick. It's olive green. Uh, we currently need to get $60,000 to buy the next bike upgrade. I crashed little Timmy. Yeah, probably like six songs. Yeah, you keep your weapons. The only way you lose it is if they steal it. If they can catch it when you go to hit them. But that's never happened. Or I can stick my weapon in their tire and it's an insta-kill, but you lose the weapon. I feel like the best weapon is either the hammer or the chain. Because both of them can kill in two hits. The chain would probably be hard to hit. Wow. The chain's probably hard to hit with, so I guess. I guess the hammer. There was just a bike in the air. I was wondering what that was.
I will say the crashing in this game is amazing. They did very good on it. What the heck, dude? <laughs> what, a, what was that? What do I do about that? God, I need a wrench. Speed limit 35, I'm on like 600. Miyamoto did an interview recently and he said he's not against violent video games at all. He just thinks that he can bring fun in a different way. What? How did I hit that? Get the tub. God, what is this road? Sort of roads like that in West Virginia. <laughs> the only thing I could see bad about this game back in the day is hitting the police officers. Maybe they would have not liked that. Like, the game doesn't even have blood. Like, I wonder if this probably isn't even rated mature. This is probably teen. Yeah, there's multiplayer. Three Mortal Kombat games in the 64. <laughs> that was peak edgy violent video game back then. I 
did not do Jet Force Gemini. I didn't see it. That's why you don't try to whack people with a wrench and drive, champ. Dude, those nunchucks are wrecking me. I'll shoot me machine time. I will say I'm impressed with the, like, just song files, I guess, on here. Like, every game that's had actual music like this has had the songs super limited. This just seems to just be the song. God, that chain hurts! Uh, I think there's six songs. <laughs> Definitely says Meat Machine. Don't you dare mess with my Meat Machine. Curious what uh, Tony Hawk 3, maybe they'll have the music like this on there. Because Tony Hawk 2 even had the songs very limited. Probably due to heart space. No! Dang it! Tony Hawk 3 was the final game released for the N64. It's also on the PS1. And GameCube. You want to know something that's rough about being a streamer that you wouldn't think about? Is if you want to play video games, you know, just in your personal time, you feel worrying that I could be turning this into content. Maybe I shouldn't play it. And then you don't. I was ready to re-download Crackdown and relive my memories, but I thought, well, maybe I'll want to play some Xbox 360. So I didn't download it. What the heck? The AI, like, takes the worst angle possible on turns, so it makes it easy to pass them, because you just cut inside. If you do it too much, it, like, says you cheated, and you have to go back, but I think it's pretty lenient.
Oh, the rubber banding's insane in this game. But, it does go both ways. God, I wanted that wrench, man. Where did they come from? It goes both ways. It lets you catch up, too. Which, it makes sense, because this game would be very boring if you just pulled ahead and then there was no good. I guess you could have cops show up, so you still have people to fight, even if you're way ahead. Okay, it wasn't busted. We're still good. Whoa! That guy just launched into orbit. Ooh, there's so many cops. Chrono Trigger has rubber banding? What? How does that even make sense? Final Fantasy VIII has rubber banding. You think, oh, I'll just power level and dominate, but then it doesn't work. No! Yeah, it usually comes down to the end of the, every race. It's kind of like an endurance thing, though, because if you crash too much, your bike breaks and you get kicked out. <laughs> yeah, if you get... If a cop's the one that knocks you down, you get arrested and have to pay bail. So it's better to just reset. Yeah, I really like this on the Genesis. I'm curious how it would be if I played it now. Oh, I left the Thrashers. They suck. I should have joined the other game. It's like in every race, there's like almost everybody's these Harley Davidson guys. I don't know what they're called. There's like never any Thrashers. I was like, screw you guys. I'm not paying your dues. I'm out of here. Uh oh. Oh, you have to buy their style of bike? I didn't know that. Honestly, I bet if I bought that bike and joined, it would just be a billion thrashers everywhere. And I'd be like, where's my teeth? <laughs> no, I'm swinging a wrench. Uh, Raz Grizz, thank you for the 24 month resub. I appreciate it. I was also disappointed because I was going to buy Geometry Wars or download it, but it's not on Game Pass. It's only $5, but I don't know. I did download Peggle.
extremely addicting. Dude, some of those challenges in Peggle are insane. Peggle's the game where you launch a ball and it hits the pegs. <laughs> you have to hit all the orange ones. Yeah, it still plays that song. Second place! This game's pretty fun. Look, there's one Thrasher in the entire race. This is why I left, y'all. You guys suck. Everybody's the biker gang people. Gonna get the tub. Oh my god. Gonna get the tub. Yeah, why does the tunnel have a center lane? <laughs> why does this have a center lane? Where are people turning? <laughs> Dude, I get so annoyed when people, like, if there's a decent amount of traffic and they pull into the center lane and, like, just drive past everybody. I'm like, you're gonna look real stupid if somebody needs to turn before you get wherever you're trying to go. spawned right in my face why are there so many cars this is ridiculous oh my god what's that guy doing Traffic's insane. I know, we're in the middle of nowhere. Why is there so many cars? Give me this wrench. There's just a bike flying through the sky. This is crazy. Man, this is making me want to play Crazy Taxi. Because when you like drive between the cars, it gives you that bonus. Like 
like if you're close to them or whatever. I never played Simpsons Hit and Run. I feel like it was a pretty popular game, so it's probably good. Yeah, Crazy Taxi's fun. We did all the challenges. There's like one where you gotta drive a car full of grandmas. That one's so hard. It's a 55 speed limit. Oh! Heck yeah! <laughs> Dude, why are there so many cars? Yeah, I still need $60,000 to buy the next bike, though. And then there will probably be one more circuit. I hope. I don't know. I don't know if we're near the end or not. Somebody said the speed run is like an hour and a half, so it can't be that long of a game. Well, this isn't good. Oh, I'm still in third. I'm still in third. <laughs> Congratulations. Try this code and lock insanely fast bike. Wait, did we beat it? <laughs> oh, I didn't think that was the end. <laughs> uh, the Porsche file. Thank you for gifting us to the VXR and a tier 3 sub to Buttspot. I appreciate it. Yeah, you have to get top three to qualify. You don't have to win. <clears throat> Dude, I ditched Thrasher at the end. <clears throat> yeah, the crashes are great in this game. Uh, to Raisin Brand, thank you for the three month resub with Prime Gaming three in a row. So. <laughs> and the best of Twitch chat, thank you for the 46 month resub with Prime Gaming. Shoutouts to Calculus. <laughs> Virtuoso Piano would like a joke.
My girlfriend said I was too immature, so I told her to get out of my fort. Uh, alright chat, we'll check out the cheat codes and stuff. Um, I need to take a quick break though, so I will be right back. It's gonna play some ads, help support the stream, feel free to take a break yourself. Be right back. There we go. Oh, it's not over. One final jump. There we go. Very cool level. That was intense. Ah, uh, there we go, okay. Dude, I'm probably gonna time out. That was really bad. Man. Uh, yeah, I think I'm dead. Unless I'm lucky, I guess. No, I'm not dead. Wow. Alrighty. Let's see. It says I should be able to maybe hear. I don't know where I'm supposed to put cheats in. It says at the main menu. Oh, okay, that one worked.
Oh, whoops. Dude, it's so fast. This is insane. It's like double the speed of the last one I was using. Dude, I'm going 300 miles an hour. God, it's insane. There's like no way to... <laughs> There's no way to steer this thing. What you gain in speed, you don't gain in turning. <laughs> you just can't turn the thing, man. This is the last bike. I just put in a cheat code to get every bike. Oh yeah, I also put in a quad damage cheat code. I thought it was only for me, but apparently they get it too. Because <laughs> that guy just one-shot me. They can't do it either. Look, they all crashed. Not even the AI can control this thing. Well, that guy's dead. Oh my god, I just got wrecked. Yo, first place! <laughs> I died. <laughs> and they said there's a drag race course? Probably this one. <laughs> the best track ever. What was that garbage? <laughs> yeah, this is the final bike. This is the one that costs 60k. I just used a cheat code. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no!
Oh. Police. I still have that quad damage cheat on. Oh, you gotta knock everybody out. I see. <laughs> we played Supercross 2000. That game was so boring. Uh, scooters. Not working. the bug mode. I don't... I don't know what's supposed to... <laughs> I don't know what that is. Trying to get this scooter mode to work. <clears throat> okay, that registered. Scooter! This is horrible. Guys, don't go too fast. Dude, why does it only go 68? Why not 69? There's a wall, what will I do? Oh, that's still kind of rough. Alright, I say that's about it. 
Road Rash 64 has been beaten. <clears throat> we don't have moments till May 1st. We're out. My hair's a wreck right now. <clears throat> what is this mode called? Uh, yeah, this one's pretty fun. I mean, it was getting a little bit tedious, you know, like repetitive. I think. It controls well, it runs at a very smooth frame rate. Um, music's decent, it's fun to whack people. But even nearly five hours in, the crash has still made me laugh. The crashing is very cool, and uh, cheat codes definitely were very cool. Uh, it's a pretty decent game. I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10. It's, it's very fun to play for a while, but not worth just grinding out in one sitting. It's a good game. Uh, Ryan Argal, thank you for 100 bits. Uh, the difficulty, it got a bit hard. It wasn't crazy. It's kind of in the middle of the road, you know. I struggled a bit, but not too crazy. It's about a five. Kind of average difficulty. Uh, all right. So we are beating every N64 game ever made. And now that we've beaten this one, we're gonna choose the next game to play. We're gonna do it via a marble race. Uh, so if you would be so kind as to give me a minute to set it up, we will do it. And if you would not be so kind, then you're banned. We'll do a random track, alienated, simulation, 184 games left on the list. <clears throat> that was a weird noise. We got Blast Core, we got Genesis, Neon Genesis Evangelion, we even got Tigger's Honey Hunt. What will it be? Three, two, one, go. All right, they are off. And who is in the lead currently? Rampage is currently in the lead, actually, but getting held up a bit. Yeah, and there goes Pilot Wings now on the right side. Who here on the left? Bio Freaks, Mia Ham Soccer, Mario Tennis as well. Uh, Pilot Wing 64, definitely the current favorite. We'll see what happens here at the first obstacle. Keep an eye on both sides here. And Pilot Wings goes airborne, very on brand, as does Mario Kart 64. Pilot Wings is gone, Mario Kart is gone, and it's Busta Move 99 in the lead now. Haru Kanaru Masters, a golf game. Also as well, Busta Move and Haru Kanaru Augusta Masters in the lead. Iggy's Wrecking Balls as well. Uh, coming through the cornfield now. Get your K-Kona out. We are harvesting corn here. And it's Magical Tetris Challenge potentially in the lead. Uh, there is a UFO. I would watch out for that. The next South Park game 
The first one out of the cornfield, potentially, I think it's Chef's Love Shack. Uh, and look at the goal moving left to right. So even if it's in the lead, it's not guaranteed, chat. Let's see, South Park, Bomberman, Miss Pac-Man, Maze Madness, Shogi on the other side, please no. Uh, whatever the heck all this is. It's going to come down to the positioning of the goal here at the end. Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness Cruising USA do fall off. South Park coming through. Bomberman second attack. Magical Tetris Challenge. Nin Tama Rantaro 64 Game Gallery. What's it going to be? It's hard to tell right now. And here comes the next South Park game. Oh, and it sticks the landing. And that is it. I believe that's Chef's Love Shack. I think it's a trivia game. I don't watch South Park, so I'm going to suck. <laughs> and we're just waiting on the final games to come through. Goemon Monke Sugoroku. Sugoroku. The next South Park game, which is... South Park Chef's Love Shack. It has been decided. <laughs> 